Team Good Life. This is I, I I regret the whole I regret the whole this is a part of owning dogs that I, I fucking regret Team Good Life, man. This is the shit I fucking regret, man. It seemed like I clean out this fucking cage from shit about three, four times a fucking day, man. About three, four times a fucking day, I clean out this duck on cage. Like, man, like, look at this. Look at this, man. Look at this. Like, like, come on, man. Like, come on. And he sit over in there looking like looking crazy, like, what's my bad fat? Like, come on, man. Like, come on. So now. So now I gotta clean out a cage once again. Because you can't just sit your butt down in there. Like, literally, I just took this dog out 30 minutes ago, y'all. 30 minutes ago, I took him out. You know what I'm saying? Normal routine. Normal routine. I took him out, used the bathroom. He had like he can't go use the bathroom. Now, I sit him down in the cage. And as soon as he get in the cage, he acts like that's to use the bathroom spot. That's not to use the bathroom spot, man. But one thing I don't do, I don't abuse my dogs. You know what I'm saying? I treat them with the utmost respect and all that kind of stuff. But shit is old, man. Damn. So I'm about to sit down, clean up this cage, and um, give him another bath. And yeah, that's, that's dog parenthood, you know what I'm saying? You know, shit happens, things happen. You know what I'm saying? Dogs this young, they don't have the colon or the bladder to hold, to hold their feces in on a long, long-term basis. When they're ready to go, they're ready to go. As he grows... You know what I'm saying? And he comes an adult, about 10 to 12 months, he'll be able to hold it. But right now, you know what I'm saying? It's the responsibility of the owner. You know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at the dog. You can't um, cuss the dog out. He already understands that he's wrong. You know what I'm saying? He already understands that, oh man, I used the bathroom in the cage, but I just couldn't hold it any longer. It's just like a child telling you, hey, I gotta use the bathroom. Hey, I had to run out. You know what I'm saying? I had to throw him in the cage, had to run out. He called himself, he, he, you know, he had to go the way he couldn't hold it. So my job is to clean it. You know what I'm saying? But if I don't do it, won't nobody else do it. You know what I'm saying? So and he knows I'm pissed off at him too. He knows I'm pissed off at him. You know what I'm saying? He knows I'm pissed off at him. Look at him. He knows I'm pissed off at him. Like he knows, he knows he's in trouble. He knows he's wrong. Cause normally he'll be trying to jump up out of that tub, running from that water. But he knows, he don't trust me. Your dog knows, man. Your dog freaking knows when they're wrong about something. You know what I'm saying? Look at him. Look at him. He knows. You know what I'm saying? He knows. You know, and all you can do is just say, hey, bad dog, bad dog, bad dog. Damn. That's all you can say. It's bad dog, bad dog. You know what I'm saying? So, trying to get better at this vlogging thing. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get better at this vlogging thing. But yeah, I'm about to, um, I don't have a camera person, so I'm about to sit down give him a bath, clean out this cage, um, put him back in the cage. YouTube, it's your boy Good Life Forever. And before I get into this video, the very first thing I need y'all to do YouTube is to one, like this video, two, 
know what I'm saying? Make sure you put a comment down below. You know what I'm saying? Because I love y'all compliments and I love, you know what I'm saying, your comments. They don't offend me whatsoever. And the most important thing I need you to do, which is number three, is I need you to hit that subscribe button, okay? I need you to hit that subscribe button, all right? My goal is to hit 100 subscribers by the end of April. So I need y'all to go down there, okay? Go down there and hit that subscribe button button okay and once y'all do that you know what i'm saying i will be back to y'all man and we doing a gorilla max video okay we're doing a gorilla max video you know what i'm saying and when we get this gorilla max video i'm gonna tell y'all my pros i'm gonna tell y'all my cons i'm gonna tell y'all everything i like about gorilla max i'm gonna tell you everything i hate about gorilla max and i'm gonna tell y'all why i get my dog gorilla max and we're gonna give y'all a whole this whole video is about gorilla max and i'm gonna show y'all a little bit of my dog so y'all can see my dog you know what i'm saying and that's what we're gonna do all right so y'all stay tuned and as always good life over everything peace Oh, what you doing, man? What you doing, man? Huh? What you doing? Sit. All right, y'all. This is Gorilla Max. All right, Gorilla Max is made by the company Bully Max. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give a product review on Gorilla Max. I'm gonna tell you my likes. I'm gonna tell you my dislikes about it. You know what I'm saying? Sit, man. Sit. I'm gonna tell you my. I'm tell you my reviews about it. Um, I have started giving my dog this particular. Um, brand of protein um basically man gorilla max is high on protein y'all it is very very high on protein okay very very high you know what i'm saying so um it's a good product you know it gives you i mean look if, if you can see he can't sit down man he can't sit down it just pure just gives your dog pure energy okay just give your dog a period. Sit down, man. Sit. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Stay. Stay. Soldier. Stay. All right, so as I was saying, all right, this is Gorilla Max. Um, for those of y'all that use Bully Max, Bully Max comes into a pill form, okay? I never tried Bully, Ma Bully Max for my dog, for my pup. Um, I went directly to Gorilla Max. Um, the reason why I give Soldier Gorilla Max because when I first got him, I took him to the vet. He had a protein problem. He had a low on protein problem. So i just been filling him up with protein for these past two, three weeks. I've just been filling him up with protein. And as y'all can see, you know what I'm saying, he's five months old now. He probably weighs about 40 pounds, 35, 40 pounds now. You know what I'm saying? So he's gained 20 pounds within the last 45 to 30 days. Okay? And this is what it is. So as y'all can see, um, it is a canine performance supplement. So think of it as human beings as we take whey protein, okay? Whey protein, so this is the whey protein for dogs, 
okay? It's 70% protein and it's 30 servings, um, okay? What I like about this product, read y'all some of the ingredients. 70% crude protein, okay? Okay, it's seventy percent crude protein. All right, it only has two percent fat. Okay, ten percent moisture. It has a lot of vitamin A. It has a lot of vitamin D three. Has a lot of vitamin E's in it. Okay, they go to recommended dosage, up to twenty pounds, one serving a day. Over twenty pounds, up to twenty pounds, two servings per day. Okay, I'll go ahead and open this up now. Me personally, me personally, Good Life Squad, only give him one serving of this a day. Um, the reason being only give him one serving of this today, of a day is because I also feed him Victor Dog Food too, which is high in protein. So I don't give him, I don't want to give him two servings of protein on top of protein, on top of protein, and he's not getting any fat. You know what I'm saying? So I do give him a um, raw meat diet, I do give him ground beef to give him some fat within this diet, okay? We must understand as bully owners or dog owners that you cannot just pump your dog with protein all the time. Dogs need carbohydrates, dogs need fat, dog need different nutrients from vegetables, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's safe just to go puppy child, dog child because one thing I can say about puppy chow and dog chow is it has everything that the dog needs, you know what I'm saying, to have a nutritious lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So right now, this is why I'm pumping him up with protein. It's for this very reason because he had a lack of protein as a younger pup. So um, I went to, the, went to the vet. He said he needs protein. So I said, okay, I got it. So I bought him a high pro in protein food and I also brought him, you know what I'm saying, some Gorilla Max to help him with protein as well. Okay. On this next scene, I'm going ahead and go ahead and explain to you the pros and cons to Gorilla Max. Good life. All right, y'all, I'm back. All right. So my pros and cons for Gorilla Max, well, before I get to that, let me show y'all what it looks like. Um, I wish Bully Max, damn. Let me open it up so y'all can see. This is what it looks like. It's a powdered substance, okay? It's powdery. So basically, when you give this to your dog in dog food, okay, I mix it with my dog's food, okay? I mix it with my dog's food. Um, some, some people put it in their water. Um, it doesn't really matter, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't no gospel on how you're supposed to get them um, protein supplements when it comes into powder, okay? I mix it into his food, add a little water to his food. Now, what I don't like about that, when I add water to his food, that makes his, his stool and his bowels really runny because he's eating, you know what I'm saying, a watery, you know what I'm saying, dog food, pretty much. So, so um, that's why I don't like giving him um, water in his particular food. So what I do is, um, I give him about a half a cup of water in his food. And what that does is when I give him that half a cup of water in his food, it actually softens his stool a little bit, but it hits his system a little bit faster. Okay? It hits his system a little bit faster. Um, pros, it gives them hell of an energy. It gives him hella energy. As y'all see, he can't sit down for anything. As y'all see, he, he's ready to take off at any moment. He's ready to take off any moment. He's ready to be a track star. You know what I'm saying? And he's ready to just take off any moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to YouTube, man. Talk to YouTube. Talk to YouTube. Talk to YouTube. <laughs> so, the cons of giving him this is I stay in an apartment. I don't have no big backyard for him to play in. So, I kind of laid off of it a little bit because I don't have the means and areas, except taking the dog parts and stuff like that, 
for him to truly, you know what I'm saying, burn that energy out. Okay, because as you know, you know, as we give dogs um, protein and high energy supplements and stuff like that, they got to go burn, they got to go burn that energy out. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't give him two servings a day because, you know what I'm saying, we can't treat, we can't treat the house like it's, like it's, you know what I'm saying, a track meet or something like that. All right. All right. Um, so that's the cons of giving him Gorilla Max. Put him back in his cage here. Doing too much sniffing for me, man. Doing too much sniffing for me. Okay. <clears throat> what I don't like about what Gorilla Max did is they didn't give you no serving scoop in the bag or anything. You know what I'm saying? They didn't give you nothing. I had to go steal a damn spoon, you know what I'm saying, to get a serving. So basically, when you go into the back instructions, right here, it says, um, for use of dogs over 12 weeks of age, can be divided among AM and PM meals if desired. So that's what I do. So basically, serving size, six, six tablespoons or an eighth of a cup. Okay, so basically what I do is six tablespoons is a serving size for a dog over 20 pounds twice a day. Okay, so six tablespoons. All right, so basically what I do is I do three in the morning for his morning meal and I do three at night for his evening meal. So I still give him one serving size, but I don't give it to him all at one time, if you know what I'm saying. Because too much, too much um, protein can give your dog arthritis, it can give your dog bad muscle development, and it can put on too much weight at the same time. And if you are, if you live in an apartment at, like I do, where you don't have anything to run them on, or they can go run off that, all that energy that that protein is giving them, or it'll make them overweight and it'll make the dog obese, which is gonna give them bad bone structure problems, and, and it's harmful to the liver as well. Okay, so when you feed your when you feed yourself too much protein, you know what I'm saying, your body gonna absorb it what it needs to absorb, and the rest of it has to go somewhere. So where the rest of it goes is the rest of it goes into your kidneys, the rest of it goes to your liver, you know what I'm saying, and it comes out in your urine. So if you're giving your dog too much protein and their urine is too is really, really yellow, it's because you just gave them too much protein and their diet has too much protein in it and it's harming their liver and it's harming their kidneys. So be careful on how much protein you are giving your dogs. Because I'm gonna say this, nothing is gonna make your dog muscular. Now you can build muscle in your dog, all right, by running, by running your dog up hills and down hills and up hills and down hills, you know what I'm saying, treadmills, you know, raise the slope up a little bit on the treadmill to build muscle in his chest and in his muscle arms, you can. but Look at all these Google photo pits. All right, the reason why they're that muscular is not because of Gorilla Max and Bully Max. The reason why they're that muscular is genetics, okay? If, if it's not genetically in your dog to be muscular and built like that, it doesn't matter what you give your dog. You know what I'm saying? Unless you put your dog on steroids, and that is a big no-no. You know what I'm saying? But unless, but unless it's in your, your dog's genetics for your dog to be that big, and to be that mos muscular and stocky and stuff like that, it will not happen, okay? So let's be real about this. It's just like yourself. If it's not in your DNA to be have a six pack of abs, you're not gonna have a six pack of abs. If it's not in your DNA to have, you know what I'm saying, a bulging chest, you're not gonna have a bulging chest. If it's not in your DNA to grow a beard, like me, I can't grow a beard for shit. But if it's not in your DNA to grow a beard, you're not gonna grow a beard. Okay, it's not gonna happen. That's not the way your body is genetically, so you cannot feed something to something. All your dog gonna do is gain weight and it's gonna get fat, and then you're gonna have to buy him a change his dog food again, give him more of a lean type of dog food so he can lose that weight. Okay, a, a comfortable bully size weight is between a male, my dog is a male, so a comfortable weight for him is between 80 and 90 pounds, all right? 
my dog is already about 40 pounds away from being a, a comfortable weight, but you don't, but he's still a puppy. He's only five months old, okay? So he still have about two more growth spurs to do before it's all said and done and all that, all right? But Gorilla Max is a great supplement. Um, I advise anybody to get it if they have active dogs, if they have playful dogs and all that kind of stuff, I advise everybody to get it. You can get it off Amazon for about $32. You know what I'm saying? It's about $32. You know what I'm saying? And um, it comes with a lot of good stuff in there for the dog. Okay? It's whey protein, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. But that's all this is. It's whey protein. All right? Um, it's kind of expensive. You don't get a whole lot in it. I think when you get it out the bag, I think it's on like that much where my finger is. You know what I'm saying? Any dog breed can use this. It's not just for American bullies or pit bulls. Any dog can use this, y'all. Um, your Rottweilers, your, your, um, um, I wouldn't advise giving it to smaller breed dogs. Smaller breed dogs is on a totally different, totally different diet, okay? They're on a totally different diet you can't give your smaller breed dogs like teacups and stuff like that you know what I'm saying all this type of protein and stuff like that it's definitely bad for them because they only grow they only gain two pounds throughout throughout their whole life okay all right so in this video um one of the next videos I'm gonna show you how I serve it to my dog um, I'm not going to do it in this video. That's how you keep content going. That's how you keep being a content creator. You know what I'm saying? So in this video, um, I showed y'all Bully Max. I showed y'all my pros and cons for Bully Max. My opinion on Bully Max. Remember, it's just an opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's just an opinion. You know what I'm saying? Um, how I serve it to my dog. How I give it to my dog. And why I give it to my dog. Okay? So, man. Man. That's pretty much it, you know. I can't, can't take y'all on the trip to where, you know, I get certain products from. We Everybody's quarantined, you know what I'm saying? So I hope everybody out there being safe, you know what I'm saying? I hope everybody is staying indoors, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to do my best with pushing out as many videos I can within the household. Um, so um, that's the end of this video, you know what I mean? And i see y'all in the next one. Make sure you please like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? The more y'all subscribe, the more y'all like and comment, the more product and the better I can get my technology, man, to give y'all better content, man. So that's the end of this video. And as always, good life over everything, YouTube. Peace.